Thank you, Pastor. <clears throat> well, uh-oh, it's only 4.58. I need to stall a little bit. <laughs> we want to get every minute out of Jim that we possibly can. <laughs> Let me just say, on, I know I speak on behalf of the council, that we're very excited to work with you, Craig. We picked you because of your financial acumen, your high ethical standards, your great management skills. I think that's a there's so many city staff here today, I think that's a testament to how excited everybody is to work with you in this new capacity. And uh, we're ready to get going. So with that, I would ask you uh, and your wife to join us. And uh, Mr. Couch, we're actually gonna deliver two oaths and we'll begin uh, with the one delivered by Mr. Couch. And if you guys would kind of get a little close to that microphone and I think you'll use that one. All right. First of all, I'm very honored I've been given specific instructions by Francis Kirsten that you are to put your left hand on the Bible. You are supposed to raise your right hand. All right. You got it right. I, Craig Freeman. I, Craig Freeman. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support, obey, and defend. That I will support, obey, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Oklahoma. And the Constitution of the State of Oklahoma. Not and that I will not knowingly receive directly or indirectly, receive directly or indirectly any, money or other valuable thing any money or other valuable thing for the performance or non-performance for the performance or non-performance of any act or duty of any act or duty pertaining to my office pertaining to my office other than the compensation allowed by law other than the compensation allowed by law I further swear I further swear that I will faithfully discharge my duty that I will faithfully discharge my duties as city manager of the city of Oklahoma City. As city manager of the city of Oklahoma City. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Thank you. And what one, <clears throat> one more and then you're officially official. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> I, Craig Freeman, I, Craig Freeman, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support, obey, and defend, that I will support, obey, and defend, the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Oklahoma, and the Constitution of the State of Oklahoma, and, uh, and that I will not knowingly receive, and that I will not knowingly receive, directly or indirectly, directly or indirectly, any money or other valuable thing, any money or other valuable thing, for the performance or non-performance, performance or non-performance of any act or duty pertaining to my office of any act or duty pertaining to my office other than the compensation allowed by law other than the compensation allowed by law I further swear I further swear that I will faithfully discharge my duties that I will faithfully discharge my duties as general manager of the Oklahoma City Municipal Facilities Authority as general manager of the Oklahoma City Municipal Facilities Authority Oklahoma City Environmental Assistance Trust Oklahoma City Environmental Assistance Trust Oklahoma City Public Property Authority. Oklahoma City Public Property Authority. Oklahoma City Riverfront Redevelopment Authority. Oklahoma City Riverfront Redevelopment Authority. And Oklahoma City Economic Development Trust. And Oklahoma City Economic Development Trust. As trustee of the Oklahoma City Airport Trust. As trustee of the Oklahoma City Airport Trust. Central Oklahoma Transportation and Parking Authority. Central Oklahoma Transportation and Parking Authority. Lake Atoka Reservation Association. Lake Atoka Reservation Association. Oklahoma City Water Utilities Trust. Oklahoma City Water Utilities Trust. And Oklahoma City Zoological Trust. And Oklahoma City Zoological Trust. And as a member of the Oklahoma County Criminal Justice Advisory Council. And as a member of the Oklahoma County Criminal Justice, Criminal Justice <laughs> Advisory Council. <laughs> that was a long one. <laughs> to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone for being here. Uh, I've got a lot of friends and my city family out here. I've got some of my own family here. My brothers actually showed up, which I think is really a testament, but don't believe any stories that they tell you. So I've got my in-laws are here, my mom, my brother Kyle and his wife Tammy, and my daughter Whitney, and Stephen, my son-in-law, and then 
Landon and Grayson, our grandsons, who are the stars of the show, and my brother Keith and, my, uh, and his wife Penny, and I just, uh, I'm just grateful for them being here. And then my wonderful wife Rhonda, who faithfully held the Bible for me while I said all those words. Um, but I really appreciate the support of my family and the support of my city family. Um, honestly, I believe the council's decision, um, or I really felt like the council was inclined to try to find someone inside, and I think that was because they have so much trust in the way the city's operated. And Jim, it's a testament to Jim, but it's also a testament to you and the work that you all do and all the city employees throughout the city. And so I'm really grateful for that. I'm thankful to the mayor and council for um, your trust and giving me this opportunity. Um, I really feel, I said this before, but I really feel blessed to have this opportunity. I feel blessed by God because of the way he works in our lives and, and putting people into our lives to make us what he wants us to be and to prepare us for the challenges that we have. And that's with family, um, it's spiritual leadership that you have, it's with friends that you have, it's your coworkers. You know, I think of working in the city for 26 years and people that I've worked for, people who have worked for me, uh, we've worked alongside of each other. I think there's so many different people that I've learned from and that God has used in my life to help prepare me uh, for what we have next. And I'm, I'm really grateful for that. I'm grateful for the leadership of our council. Jim talked about it this morning. The unity of the council sets the tone for the rest of us in the way that we work. I think it sets the tone for our city and the way we go forward. It sets the tone for us in the way we work. We talk about the culture we have in the organization, and it starts with the council. I'm really grateful uh, for your leadership. Um, I love Oklahoma City. I've been here 26 years in, in uh, working for the city and just seeing the renaissance that we've had here and really more from an observer. I've been able to participate some, but being able to see what's happened with the leadership that we've had here. And, and I'm just grateful for the city team that we have. Um, we have such a great group of city employees that come to work every day. So many of them work behind the scenes and are never seen in the work they do, but doing great work for the city. And I'm really grateful for them and grateful for the opportunity to continue to work alongside them. Um, couldn't say enough about Jim uh, Couch. Where'd you go, Jim? Uh, I, I just appreciate his friendship. He, he's been a mentor to me for many years. Even before he knew he was a mentor to me, he was a mentor to me. You know, you pick people out that you're following, and he's one that I, I've felt that way about for a long, long time. And um, just appreciate his leadership and being a mentor, but his friendship too. As we go through some challenging times, There'd be difficult times where we'd be disagreeing on something, and still you knew when we walked out of the room, just like the council's example, we're all walking out together and we're going in the same direction to try to move the city forward, and I'm just grateful for that. If it was up to me, I would name a 10-story building after you, but they didn't ask me about it. So Jim talked about it this morning. I offered the couch that's in his office that now will be my office that I'm going to call it the Jim Couch. So uh, if you ever come into my office and you sit down there, you'll be on the Jim Couch just in honor of Jim and grateful for his leadership for the city. Um, the city has such a great, a great leadership team that uh, starts with our assistant city managers and with our department directors, and they, they lead the way, but we have leaders throughout the organization, and it really does set the tone for the way that we manage and the way that we serve our residents, and I really am grateful for that. I think leadership doesn't have to be in a position. I say that a lot, and it doesn't have to be in a position. You can lead from wherever you are, and we've got people throughout the organization that do that, but it starts with the backbone of the leadership that we have in our assistant city managers and our department directors. Um, you know, the, the city has had so much success through the years because of working together. And that starts with our elected officials and their leadership. It, it's with the business leaders. It's with nonprofit partners. It's with the city team that we have. And it's most of all with our residents and their support for the city. Jim talked about this morning the citizen confidence and how important it is that we are faithful to that and we make sure we're fulfilling what we've promised to the council and we're serving I mean, to the citizens and that we're serving them to the best of our ability and it's something that we've just got to continue to do and i think as we go forward it's going to take that same kind of working together no individual is going to lead anywhere it's going to be everyone pulling together and working together that gets it done so that we can continue to move the city forward and i'm just I'm honored and, and looking forward to having the opportunity to, to move forward and to work together with all of you. So thank you all, and thank you for coming. And Craig, a uh, uh, part of this ceremony, of course, is to let you look at your nameplate. Unlike Jim this morning, you don't get to keep this for 18 okay. years. We'll give it to you. <laughs> but we'll be putting that up there. I'll let you hold it today. Congratulations. Let's all hear it for Craig one more time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
concludes our ceremony. Thank you for coming.